hello everyone so in this video we will discuss about uh, section modulus so first of all uh, we will design, uh, define what is section modulus so section modulus is defined as the ratio of moment of inertia of a section about the neutral axis to the distance of the outermost layer from the neutral axis so uh, basically it is the ratio between moment of inertia and the distance of the outermost layer from the neutral axis okay which is uh, denoted by the symbol y and moment of inertia is denoted by the symbol i so the ratio of i by y is your section modulus and it is denoted by the symbol z so as i have told z is equal to i by y max so y we are writing it as y max means basically y stands for the distance from the neutral axis to the fiber what we are selecting or the layer what we are selecting max means the maximum distance from the neutral axis so basically from a neutral axis what will be the maximum distance the last fiber means the outermost fiber so that's why we write y as y max and uh, we all of us know that uh, m by i is equal to sigma by y so this is the relation which comes from uh, bending equation so we all know bending equation right m by i is equal to sigma by y is equal to e by r so from this we are taking this set of relationship so if you take this relationship from here we can write m by i is equal to sigma max by y max because as just now i told you uh, for example if this is your uh, neutral axis and uh, this is the outermost layer right so the distance from here to here will be y max if i select some other intermediate layer here it would be y so the maximum distance only is is with the outer fiber so it is y max so when y becomes y max automatically sigma becomes sigma max in this fiber only the maximum bending stress will be induced so that's why we wrote uh, sigma max by y max so from here we can write m is equal to this i will go this side sigma max into i by y max but just now we discussed i by y max is called as section modulus so from here we can take out this relation as m is equal to sigma max into z this is one of the important formula uh, we will be using this formula in calculating the uh, bend, um, maximum moment of resistance or the maximum bending moment m and also in calculating sigma x which problems i will be solving in my upcoming videos okay so this m value is called as moment of resistance and it is nothing but the maximum bending moment offered by the section and uh, in this we will see how to calculate section modulus for a solid rectangular section so we can see here here is a rectangle and uh, this is a neutral axis so the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber is d by 2 because total depth is d and breadth is b so we know that uh, moment of inertia for a rectangle about neutral axis is bd cube by 12 and uh, y max is d by 2 because from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber is d by 2 so according to our formula of z what is z equal to i by y max so from here z is equal to what is the value of i bd cube by 12 by y max is d by 2 so it is 2 1 za 2 6 za 1 d 1 d will get cancelled so finally z is equal to bd square by 6 that is how the formula came next comes uh, section modulus for a hollow rectangular section so the rectangle is hollow now like a frame so you can see the inner breadth is b outer breadth is capital b inner depth is small d outer depth is capital d and neutral axis lies at the center so from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber it is capital d by 2 okay if it was only solid we could have had only small d so it was d by 2 but here it is outer is also there so it is capital d by 2 so in such cases we know that the moment of inertia formula is uh, bd cube by 12 minus bd cube by 12 so as i told y max is equal to d by 2 so if you substitute again the formula of z is equal to i by y max so from here it is uh, if you take this equation i can take 1 by 12 common so if i take out 1 by 12 common it will be b capital b capital d cube minus small b small d cube divided by y max is capital d by 2 because it is hollow so again two ones two six so it will be 1 by 60 into bd cube minus bd cube that is the formula for section modulus for hollow rectangular section next comes section modulus for a solid circular section so imagine this is a solid circle okay means which is fully closed so now 
just like a what you call a iron ball or a steel ball so we know that moment of inertia for a circle is pi by 4 pi by 64 into d power 4 or pi d power 4 by 64 so again here y max will be uh, diameter by 2 so again z is equal to the formula is i by y max so this is equal to pi d power 4 by 64 by d by 2 okay so again 2 ones 232 1d 1d get cancelled so finally you get pi d cube by 32 now again we will do section modulus for a hollow circular section so hollow circular section is something like a, a ring a tenicoid ring or generally we eat polo right the polo ring like that so uh, you will have internal diameter and as well as external diameter so again from the neutral axis to the external diameter uh, it is the distance between both of them will be d by 2 capital d by 2 similar to rectangle in rectangle also we wrote capital d by 2 y max here also it will be capital d by 2 so for hollow sections you have to consider the outer dia because that is the outermost fiber so we know that uh, moment of inertia formula for hollow circular section is pi by 64 into d power 4 minus d power 4 okay so now as y max is d by 2 again let's put up the formula of z is equal to i by y max so once you take this formula this is uh, pi by 64 into d power 4 minus d power 4 by y max is capital d by 2 so 2 ones 232 so finally it is pi by 32 d d power 4 minus d power 4 so this is how we have to calculate the section model so uh, all of you have to remember these four uh, values because these are the basic uh, geometrical figures mostly we get uh, we have uh, because we have rectangular beams and circular beams so most of the time we get this geometry so uh, what I always recommend is that if you know the value of the formula for z which is i by y max and provided if you know the formulas for moment of inertia for a rectangle and circle which you already learned in mechanics it would be easy so it is based on your comfort whether you remember according to the formula or whether you remember this values so for uh, solid rectangle it is bd square by 6 for hollow rectangle it is 1 by 6d into bd cube minus bd cube and for solid circular it is pi d cube by 32 and for hollow circular it is pi by 32 d into d power 4 minus d power 4 so i hope all of you understood this video on section modulus in the coming classes we will be solving numerical problems on section modulus and uh, also using bending equation so thanks for watching